Hello everybody. I think I'm going to be the only person that's going to do this on YouTube, I believe. Um, some people, I know they did not say in the comments and below or ask me anything, but I figured I would take, take the time to explain to you about something with fire alarm control panels. Some people may need some help, like figuring out what an AC fault is. What AC fault means is the panel has lost power due to a power outage or something went wrong with the outlet or or the power board went bad. So that's basically troubleshooting steps like what a power outage is, but not basically troubleshooting steps, I wouldn't put it that way. What AC fault means is there is no power going into the panel and it's just running off of the batteries. And that means the panel is doing a battery backup. So it's using power directly from the batteries. And for this panel, if the power is out, the LED, the LCD screen will not be lit until you operate, until you set off the fire alarm or program your panel. So I'm going to show you what that's all about. So, so basically what you have right here, you do have your... AC power light the only time this light this light is the only light that stays lit it never turns off at all so you want that light to stay on when you have a fire alarm control system in service so you want your AC power to stay on when you have power so right now we have power in our house right now for an example if the power went out in our house or in any other building while well, I'm at while well, I'm in a house right now but if the power went out in a building this light will turn off the LED the LCD screen will turn off the light behind it the whole LCD display the green will turn off but the words will still be there you just have to use a flashlight to read it or make the screen turn on by pushing one of the buttons or activating a pull station so we have AC power from the wall going to the panel, so so basically, let's see what happens when I unplug AC power from the wall. And I'm going to show you what happens when I unplug it. Ready? See? AC power is pl unplugged from the wall. I'm not sure if you could see it, but it says AC fault right there. Let me open the panel. As you can see, it says system in trouble AC fault right there to silence this you hit acknowledge and the only light that is on is the trouble so what the trouble the trouble doesn't necessarily mean bad thing in, in, in this case right now because the power the power is out because basically um, when the power goes out um, the, the system is doing a battery backup from the batteries. It cannot do battery backup without the batteries. If the batteries weren't plugged in or the batteries were depleted somehow, if they don't hold a, hold a charge, then the system won't work. And these are both, th this is 24 volts DC, so these batteries will last about a whole day if the power doesn't come back on within 24 hours. So these batteries do last about 20 hours. Well, they actually last more than that for somehow, but in this case, um, we're, when the system goes into an alarm, when the power is out, the audio visuals will still go off because they're using power directly from the batteries. And I heard that some panels that put out FWR with Firelight MS2s or any other FWR panels when when the power goes out it switches to filter DC for some reason I don't know why it's just kinda weird it's just how they operate I've seen some I've seen some panels switch to filter DC when the power goes out because it's just using power directly from the batteries and it can't do FWR without without um, AC current well, this panel doesn't put out FWR at all. It only puts out filter DC only. 
But I'm just saying that for an example. That's a, that's a little bit off topic, but it does have something to do with it. So you know how the screen, the the LCD is out, but the words are still there. So you can read it by using a flashlight on the screen. Or you can make your screen light up and do this. You can also do that by pushing modes. See? And you can do your programming. You see how the screen is lit up and you hit escape. Well, you could see AC fault trouble. That means there's no power. But the audio visuals will still work when the system is an alarm with the power out. So, let's put a pause in the video. Okay, I have to quickly put on hearing protection because I have my Spectre Alert Advance is wired up right now, so but um this is this is quite the obvious, so let's do drill. Okay, I have to quickly silence the alarms because I don't really want them going off for too long right now because I don't want to annoy my sister way too much that is next next door. Well, basically, she she doesn't really care that as much, but I have them silenced quickly so because it's it's kind of it's too it is um it is already uh 2 o'clock in the afternoon and I and some people are taking a nap and all that, so um, so this is basically the whole point, guys. This is what a power outage works. And the LCD screen will not stay lit when the system's fully reset. When I hit reset, all the lights will go out, and three seconds the trouble light will come in and out intermittently. So let's hit system reset. See? Everything goes out, there comes the trouble, because there is no power. So, so there you guys go. So, this is basically the, the whole point of a power outage, but you could still do your programming, you can do your syst system setup, or you can do your walk test. So, when you do your wa walk test, so basically... So this is basically the whole point, how a power outage works. So, and, and, and when your batteries are running out of energy, when the power comes back on and the pa batteries did not run out of power yet, the, when the AC power comes on, the batteries will recharge back up by the charger right here. The, the transformer uh, charges up the batteries down here. So the batteries will be charged for the next power outage in case the power goes out again. So, and this is what happens when you have a power outage. So if you activate your pole station or something trigger the smoke detector, or you do the manual evac evacuation, the audio visuals will still go off for you guys. So you have nothing to worry about guys. You always have battery backup on the panel. For at least 24 hours if the power doesn't come back on. So so that's basically all it is. Alright. Now, let's plug back in the panel. In a few seconds, the light will turn back to green and the LCD screen will come on. So, let's plug it in. And my brother's in the room right now, so let's plug the panel in. Here we go. As you can see, the relay clicked and the power is back on. So, there you guys go. That is basically the whole point of a power outage. So, there you guys go. So, I hope I better hope I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, power outage uh, setup. So, so I I explained how a power outage works so hopefully this will be helpful to you guys so basically that's all it is so thank you very much everybody and hope so hopefully this will help um educate people and understand well with the power outage so maybe i'll do some other demonstrations with the panel so 
That's it.